Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Arma Guides. Today we will be taking a look at the process of setting up vehicle respawns for your Eden Editor missions. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So there are two things you'll need. The first is of course the actual vehicle itself and the second is a vehicle respawn module. So first let's go ahead and grab the respawn module. So go to your systems and then go to modules and then go down to multiplayer and then select the vehicle respawn module. And you can place this wherever you would like. It does not affect where the vehicles respawn at. Now you want to open the properties for this. So double left click on it, which will greet you with this menu. Everything you need to worry about is under system specifics vehicle respawn. The delay, this is how long in seconds it takes for the vehicle to respawn after it has been destroyed or abandoned or anything like that. So say this is set to 60 seconds, then whenever a vehicle blows up, it will not respawn until 60 seconds later. The deserted distance is basically a diameter around the vehicle. And if no one is in that circle, the vehicle will respawn unless it is at its starting position. If a vehicle is where it was originally placed and there is no one around it, it will simply sit there and do nothing. You can set this distance to whatever you would like. Uh, I personally like to use 50 meters. I find that works quite well. Same for delay. You can set this timer to whatever you would like. I personally like to use 15 seconds. I find that to work quite well. Tickets. This is how many times the vehicle can respawn. This does not count the first time the vehicle has been placed. So if this is set to five, then the vehicle will be there the first time and not use a ticket and then whenever it dies and respawns then it will use a ticket so basically if this is set to five then you would have the vehicle six times if it's set to ten you'd have the vehicle eleven times so on so forth whatever if you leave this blank then it's an infinite number of respawns i personally just recommend leaving this blank unless you're doing more specific missions that have um, a heavy focus on realism or things like that and then expression all this does is you can put a line of code here and whenever this module is activated in a vehicle response, it will execute that code. This is far more advanced stuff that I'll be talking about in the future. Um, if you understand basic coding for Arma 3, you can start using this now, but it's nothing too crazy. I rarely use it. Now for position, this chooses where the vehicle responds. There's a lot of options in here. Um, pretty much all these are more advanced and I'll be talking about them in the future. Right now, all you need to worry about is where it was destroyed and starting position. Where it was destroyed is fairly self-explanatory. Whenever the vehicle is disabled or blown up or anything like that, it will respawn where it was destroyed at. And then starting position, whenever that is selected, the vehicle will respawn where it was originally placed whenever making the mission. I personally like to use starting position. That is what I would recommend you use, but it is completely up to you. Position selection. This is a little more advanced. Basically, you can have multiple vehicle respawn modules synchronized to a single vehicle. And what this will do is it determines how it chooses between which respawn position to spawn the vehicle at. So, of course, if it's at random, it will randomly select the position to respawn at. If it's at oldest, it will select the very first module that vehicle will synchronize to. If it's at newest, it will select the most recent module the vehicle will synchronize to. Um, unless you're going into more advanced stuff, you don't need to worry about this at all. You can just leave this on random. It won't affect anything. Wreck determines what happens with the vehicle after it's been destroyed. So preserve, what this does is that it'll just leave the vehicle there. So the original vehicle will stay and it will spawn a new copy as well. I personally don't recommend using this because it can clutter the server with large amounts of disabled vehicles and it can start to cause lag over time. Uh, delete, it completely removes the vehicle. It just vanishes whenever it respawns. This is what I like to use. And then delete with an explosion effect does the exact same thing as delete but with a rather large explosion where the vehicle was. And it is lethal, it will kill anyone within the blast radius. This is cool, but I don't like to use it very much because it can be annoying, especially if you're setting up respawns inside of a military base for your team or things like that. So I personally recommend using delete. 
notification. What this will do is it will send out a server-wide notification anytime the vehicle respawns. You can leave this on if you would like. I personally like to have this disabled, especially when working in missions that have lots of vehicles because things can start to get a little annoying and you can start to get spammed by notifications. Force respawn. This is far more advanced. You can just leave this on disabled. Basically, you can set up things that will activate this module, and whenever it is activated, it will force any vehicle synchronized to the module to respawn. Like I said, it's far more advanced, and I will be talking about that in the future. Right now, you don't need to worry about that at all. And then respawn when disabled. This is super self-explanatory. If a vehicle is damaged to the point it is no longer functional, or it runs out of fuel, then it will respawn. Unless this is disabled, in which case it will not, and it will have to be repaired or refueled. I like to have this on, but it is completely up to you. And that is all you need to worry about as far as the actual vehicle respawn module. Now you just need a vehicle itself. So you can have as many vehicles as you want of any type, and you simply synchronize them to the module. You right click on the vehicle, go to connect, and then go to sync to, and then left click on the vehicle respawn module. And you would just do this for each individual vehicle. As I said, you can have as many vehicles as you want, all synchronized to one module. You can have as many modules as you want. You can just spread them throughout the map. The only reason I would really do that is to have different respawn type or different respawn times for different vehicle classifications. So say air vehicles take twice as long to respawn as ground vehicles. And you can synchronize multiple vehicle respawn positions to a single vehicle. So I could simply copy and paste the module here several times and I could synchronize it to one of these and it would randomly select between which one to spawn at. That's really all there is to it. I hope you guys found this helpful and I will see you in the next one.